let me tell you something about that where that house burned down. I bet you have never, ever took the time to go up there and walk around and look. That, son, if a man had the money. But Dad, no, I know it's beautiful because I've been up there, you know, but Ella wanted to go the other day when we went up and got these pictures, but it was raining. That's why we didn't go up yeah, there. And, and but that's the, that's the best building site on the whole property because oh, you can yeah. see on all sides yeah, you got to view. Yeah. And you see for a long ways too. And, well, anyway, I'm glad you understand and realize that. I figured you did. No, I, I, Dad, I know. If I, Dad, if I, if I want to build a house there, that's where it's going to be. I mean, I've thought about that, you know, and I, you know, so, but I just wanted you to, to be able to say this because, like, I know you didn't necessarily do a will, so we're doing, like, you're, you're kind of dividing out some of your, your, you know, property and everything like that. I don't want anybody to think that I'm making up something. Right. Exactly. And it's not that you love them less or whatever, but I'm like, I mean, like, I, and I think and Donnie I, needs to understand this, like with that, that you're looking for somebody because you bought it and you had dreams. And so the dreams of building a house and doing some of the stuff that didn't come true, but you want it to, to stay in the family and you want it to, uh, you know, hopefully, you know, maybe somebody continues on with your dream. I and mean, that's really, you don't want to just sold off and, and divide it up. And I mean, that's not what you want. That's not what you bought. I mean, like it's it's. I think you. I saw it that you bought it in 1969. So it's been in that in our family for 50 years now. When you think about that. I mean, it's 50 years. So. You, you mean. The where the trail is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know you got the thing from the Greenwells later. I know, but but I'm saying the whole thing because I mean, like the, the by keeping it well, together, that's it's I, essentially I one continuous property. Let me stop and tell you this. I may have already told you this, but I'm going to tell you again. I tell it again. Uh, I remember he, he put it up for sale. I didn't know he was going to do it that soon. And then he was just going to leave and go down and live in Florida with his son. So, uh, I talked to him and we decided on the, I, I can't remember the price. It sounds, it seems like it was 50,000. That's what it seems like. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I remember that after, after we closed the deal and everything, we got, I, got, I mean, I went and got a lawyer and had him to, Make sure there wasn't no back taxes on him. You know, check everything out. And so, the sun came in and stopped it, didn't it? Huh? I remember this. Dad, didn't the sun come in and stop the sale? Uh, the original way about a year, about two years prior to what I'm talking about. Oh no, I remember. Yeah, because yeah, I mean, yeah. you talked about this because then you yeah, get us a lot he, better price after he died. You well, bought no, it. No, no. Uh, uh, what I figured out was that him and his wife would wind up. See, he had no other children, mm -hmm. just a son and our daughter, whichever he had. But anyway, uh, what was I saying shit? Well, you were talking about like that uh, you had an original plan, plan to buy it and you, you took it to a lawyer, but but this is before Mr. Greenwell went down to Florida. Didn't you say that he, I thought you told me originally that that sale got stopped the, the, or canceled by maybe the sun or something like that. I thought is what happened. Yeah, the first one did, but but that was you were going to buy it for like fifty thousand, right? I, I I never paid over fifty. Is what I'm trying to say. No, see, I think you ended up getting it for like thirty two. I mean, because I remember the whole thing was yeah. that that they had to come back and ask you to buy it after, but. But again, yeah, I think yeah, that yeah. the so, son didn't want the dad to sell it. And yeah, then, a lot of time went by, and then I got a call one night, and it's from him. Yeah. And I started putting two and two together that uh, Mr. Greenwell was pretty sick, and he knew it, and he wanted to make sure he got the money and all this, all this damn stuff. But anyway. Uh, After I, after I got it, 
after I got the deed and everything was wrapped up and closed. And I remember that I almost jumped up in the air and clicked my heels saying, I wouldn't take this for it if you, if you offered me cash money right now. Because I knew what it was worth. Yeah. I knew. She had, even had that little house on it then. And that little house was livable. But anyway, uh, Well, you ended up buying it though when uh, later on, but that was a great thing because you got it for a lot better price. You, so you still got it, and you got it for a lot better price. Yeah, I, I think that's what happened. No, I, I know, Dad. I remember you talking about it because oh, in the end, and it seemed almost like the son was doing a little bit of dirty work there. I mean, it seems like yeah. he was essentially trying to make sure he got the money, and, and yeah, that right. was, yeah, which is crappy. <laughs> yeah, and he wanted to make it out to two individual checks. Like I remember, he wanted. A check for ten thousand and another check for ten thousand. I think, or or whatever the he won he won two individual checks. The amount I don't remember. And, and me and the lawyer on this end thought that was really weird. Weird. Yeah. But he he was he was making sure that I guess that he got the money or something. I don't know what the deal was. Uh, did he seem slimy just talking to him, or did he seem okay? The he, son. Seemed, he seemed okay, you know. Yeah. And, uh, but, uh, yeah. anyway, uh, 